Welcome to the clubhouse. So first stop on this practice vlog is um, Lidl. Best supermarket in the world. Second best to Aldi. It's a tough call, isn't it? Aldi or Lidl? I'm actually gonna make a music video about Lidl. Different story. So we will go to Lidl and we will also talk about the subject of the title, which is why I quit YouTube. <laughs> and why potentially you should too. Sometimes you wanna go where everybody knows your name. And they're always glad you came. You Cheers. Know See you next time. Bye. If I didn't stop vlogging, um, that would have been the content you would have got pretty much every time I made a video. You wanna be where everybody knows your name. Now, please forgive me because I must become vulnerable all of a sudden. I must be vulnerable on camera, which I'm not actually used to. I usually keep these videos very light-hearted and silly and funny, but because we're talking relatively to about some serious matter, I will lay my heart on the sleeve for you, dear viewers. If anyone is still indeed watching this channel, I have no bloody idea. We're gonna find out. And now our feature presentation. Okay, so here we go. When lockdown happened, I moved home and I moved back to my hometown, which is Carlisle. It's on the border between Scotland and England, if you're interested. And at that point, lots of stuff was going on, but one thing coincided with, coincided with COVID and the pandemic and all that shit show of a thing, um, was that my dad required care. He is disabled, therefore, you know, my family and I, we all cared for my dad. The full works, I won't go into details, but it was a lot, as you can imagine. That lasted for two years because we could not get carers. And when we finally got carers, it was basically at the end of the pandemic. And, um, and they're amazing. They're an absolute godsend. But ultimately, I could not keep up this, and I could not keep up being happy and cheerful and brightly and sprightly and I just I just couldn't do it. My circumstances were not conducive to this ultimately so that's why I quit. I never explained it. I did try and continue it but I just I just couldn't. It was all too much. And that's fine. It was but it's been very good and very valuable and it's given me some perspective on what I was doing at the time. I kind of realized that I was only making videos to serve an algorithm. Like, I started off this channel doing whatever the hell I wanted to do. That was the whole point. If I had an idea, it was to express it and bring it into reality, whether that be like a vlog. Child down! A short film. Uh, sketch. Now look here, Elf. Oh. Frank, even. Hi there. I know what you're thinking. I look better on screen, right? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Have a great day. All of you have. Uh, chatting up girls as Harry Potter. I may be the boy who lives, but you are my chosen one. Driving around in a little Mario Kart. I really hope I'm nearly there. You know, a vlog. I love cats. Holly, do you love cats? No, I hate cats. Perfect. And then one day I made a video about whether I could commute across London on an electric scooter. It was just a vlog and that was kind of the end of it. And from there it all kind of kicked off. Are you with me? Come on, guys! What a load of whip! Brands started throwing scooters at me, there was money and my channel popped and I was like, yes, this is it. This is kind of what I wanted to do. Like I wanted to have a YouTube channel where I could express myself, be like a British Casey Neistat who I was very inspired by. And I was like, yes, yes, yes. Ah! <laughs> Flip 
pin egg. I wouldn't buy it. Scooter famous. <laughs> Scooter famous. <laughs> But then that's that's all I ended up doing. I, I I sold out, dare I say, and only ended up making videos if I had a brand deal or a something to review, which was completely against what I started the channel about. My YouTube channel became like a cage, one that I couldn't escape. This is a metaphor, by the way. I'm not really trapped. And I know this is on me, I fell into the trap of the algorithm. I only did videos that that, that please the algorithm and, and were, were rewarding in views and likes and all that bullshit. I don't care about any of that, I truly don't. Like, I do enjoy vlogging, I do enjoy making videos, and I do want to do it again, but like I said, do it on my terms. So if you wanna join me for the ride, please, Stay for the ride, but please know that it's not going to be just electric vehicle reviews. It's not. And I'm, I'm not saying that I won't do it anymore. I have to want to do it. I'm not doing this for you. I'm not doing this for a living. I'm doing this for me. And that's the point. Do you want to know why I think that you should race again? Sure, why? Okay. It's because it's what you love, Ricky. It is who you were born to be. And here you sit, thinking, well, Ricky Bobby is not a thinker. Ricky Bobby is a driver. He is a doer. And that's what you need to do. You don't need to think. You need to drive. You need speed. You need to go out there, and you need to rev your engine. You need to fire it up, and you need to grab a hold of that line between speed and chaos, and you need to wrestle it to the ground like a demon cobra. And then, when that fear rises up in your belly, you use it, and you know that that fear is powerful because it has been there for billions of years, and it is good, and you use it, and you ride it. You ride it like a skeleton horse through the gates of hell, and then you win, Ricky, you win! And you don't win for anybody else. You win for you. You know why? Because a man takes what he wants. He takes it all and you're a man, aren't you? Aren't you? That's what I would say if you were starting a YouTube channel is be careful. Be careful what you wish for. Like, if you find yourself burning out and if you find yourself doing something that you didn't really intend to do, then I would think about stepping back from it. Having that self-control, having that consciousness, which like I didn't at the time. I mean, I shouldn't be giving advice, really, should I? But what I would say is enjoying it. And when you stop, and when you don't enjoying it, and you're forcing it, like I was, I was forcing this, these reviews, and I was just forcing it. Just don't. Just back off. Forget about the algorithm. Forget about uploading a video every week. Forget about it all. Please. So, in closing, uh, this channel will continue. The, the content will be varied and diverse as I experiment. However, I will probably be doing more stuff to do with filmmaking and cameras on the tech side. The comedy side, I have kind of started a new channel, Comedy Side Quest, check it out. That's where I'll be putting my absurd comedy stuff and some of the legacy stuff that was on this channel. I'll be putting it on there. And I also have another channel, this is crazy, like I quit YouTube and now I've got three YouTube channels. Another channel which is called Power Up Pictures, because I forgot to mention I'm actually making a video game with my brother and we're releasing it this year. It's an FMV game, so it uses full motion video, it uses cinematics incorporated into a game and that, the progress on that will be on Power Up Pictures, which is kind of like my production company. I've also been doing some like scene remakes and behind the scenes and some lighting tutorials and some acting stuff on that channel. However, I may put that on this channel. Like I say, I'm experimenting at the moment, but if you want to see comedy, go here. And if you want to follow my game progress, go here. And if you want to follow this face, stay here. Does that make sense? Gosh, this has been a long and probably a boring video. Like, I do, like, respect the audience on this channel and I do miss interacting with you guys, but I don't want this to be a transactional YouTube channel. I don't want to be like that. I want it to be a vlog. I want it to be a vlog and we get to know each other that way so it's not just about a product. It's about a person. And that person is me and the other person is you. Does that make sense? 
Or am I just high off the matcha tea that I had before this video? Okay, I think that's all. It's been a while, folks. I really hope you appreciate this video and expect we more weird videos to come and I hope you stick along for the ride. If you don't, please unsubscribe. No hard feelings. I know you're probably just here for the scooters and the bikes and all that stuff anyway, so... Yeah. I will now see if I can climb that wall and get back home. That was a weird video. Are we about to get it on? Because I'm as hard as a diamond in an ice storm right now. This is awesome. Are you climbing on the table right now? I can't believe this. This is like it's that white snake video where the girl crawls on. Yeah. Just like that. What's your name? Tony Capri. Yeah, Tony. She's, she's, she's fantastic. They call me Jackie Chan. Right now. Yes. I can't believe it. Do you know what? That felt good. That felt good. I feel lighter. I feel like I've got something off my chest there and, and, and it was rattling. And I was going to stop the video, but I'm going to continue the video. Because I wanted to say that. I wanted to say thank you for allowing me this time. And, and this is something that I do recommend about YouTube. And something that I have missed. Which is a form of expressing yourself. It's a form of therapy. I'd like this, this to be a, a, dare I say, a lifestyle vlog. Where I can just talk about anything and hopefully you guys will reciprocate. Because every YouTuber does change what they do. They pivot what they do and they start doing something new. All the greats have done it. Question is, can I do it?